Do you want me to go first? I think you should. You it's might. a dual brain child, <clears throat> kind of like everything we we do. We feed off of each other. But it actually goes back um, to a moment. Um, we were at, at dinner at a restaurant in San Francisco called One Market in the Financial District. And we were just talking about our future. I leaned over to him and I said, Richard, what do you see as your future? What you did was you took my hands. Because they were shaking. And you said, you can't keep doing what you're doing. Your hands will give up. What will you I do? I say that. Yeah, what will you do? I had actually said, you know, I think you're a good businessman. Is there any thought that you would leave the hands on and consider running a practice instead of being the practice? I think that's exactly what I said to you. That's exactly yeah, what said. and he said, you know, Anna, I have an idea. I'll get back to you. So I had a friend, a physician that had four offices and six partners, I believe. And each office had this little PT practice, just maybe the size of this room. So I had quite a good relationship and took him to dinner and essentially asked, why are you in my business? It can't be very profitable compared to your medical practice. I'd be willing to um, take them off your hands. And we discussed uh, a management contract for two years with an option to purchase. And a few days later, he got back to me and he said, this idea is gonna work and you need to get out here so we can execute. I am Cindy Cutright, and I'm the Director of Clinical Services, and I have been with it since the very beginning. In fact, before we were at the Jackson Clinics, I was there. They started with a business here in their office in the house. So you look at that, and now you look at us with our clinics spread across Northern Virginia and with new growth coming in the next four to eight months. It's been quite a ride. I'm Patty Towsley. I'm a physical therapist. So when Richard and Anna came in and started to run the clinics, everything improved. We were owned by a physician group and the physical therapists were definitely a secondary component. Um, Richard and Anna made us primaries in their business and we are their first concern. Well, when I started with the, the Jackson Clinics, we were four clinics um, and we are now, what, 17, 18? And to have done that in that short a time period, you, you know, we were practice of the year. Those are things that they don't just hand out lightly. We have that reputation that if you want to be a leader in your field, this is where you go. The, the thing about physical therapy is, if you want to get good at it, that takes an enormous amount of education and practice. To get someone who knows they don't know anything and who wants to be a master clinician, we have the path for that. We have the educational right. path for that. And we say it. If you want a job, don't work here. If you want a career, this is the right place for you. I think an employee that succeeds out of here is one who is motivated and really wants to improve themselves, wants to grow, wants to understand the why of biomechanics and why things happen. There are plenty of opportunities here for education, for growth, for mentoring. You, you have to want that. The thing that really connected most with me, early on especially, was the vision of the company. So Richard, from the very beginning, talked about wanting to be a model practice in all respects. The clinical care, the education, the research, the service. Model practice would have significant continuing education. A faculty of our best clinicians that are taken off of being a clinician and sent out to our staff to mentor. Our residency program, we are 100% graduate, very first time taking the OCS. And there are no other clinics that are going to be able to say that. And that is definitely a trickle-down effect from what Anna and Richard have done in terms of setting that standard. A model practice should be able to stand behind the quality of care. And the only way to ensure that is constant education, residencies, fellowships, mentoring. We are a postgraduate educational institution practicing physical therapy. So that's what a model practice looks like. If you want to be part of this, if you want to help build this, if you want to create a model practice, Richard and Anna, 
they trust you and give you the opportunity to make it more. Uh, and I think that's what makes it makes it a really well-run company is that they'll they'll listen to to anybody, um, take their opinions uh, into a matter, and before they make a decision on their own. You know, anytime we've ever had to want to do something or ask for something. It, you knew that if you went to Richard and Anna, it was always going to be the same answer. Yes, do what you need to do. Buy what you need to buy. Um, take the time that you need to take. Let's make this happen. That willingness to let you in and make you part of it has made it greater than it ever could have been. I think that's something I'm incredibly grateful for.